Hello all. Are you able to see me? Are you uh, am I audible here? Yes. So, uh, welcome to Unacademy Unlock program. So, I dream to make my country proud by becoming IAS program is happening at an academy. And uh, and this offer is ending today, that is 18th of August. Uh, there is extension till mains, flat discounts plus free optional test series combo. CAC Assure only on plus subscription and you get an academy notes free. There is test series worth rupees 30,000 free here. Optional carnival with 16 optional subjects. This is applicable on one year subscription onwards. Freedom offer on plus UPSC combo is happening at an academy where you have one subscription to Crack It All program. You get flat 27,500 off on one year plus combo, two year plus combo and three year plus combo with free optional test series, prelims and mains test series. So optional carnival is happening at an academy which is happening today for 16 top optional. So don't miss it. Use my code Shilpa N10 for any subscriptions on optional carnival. Ultimate test series combo is happening where you get uh, subscription for optional test series, prelims plus mains test series. This is worth rupees 45,000 comes free with one year and above combo subscription this offer is ending today and these tests are analyzed by top educators curated as per the changing UPSC pattern you can compete with the best in India you have comprehensive model answers and one out one plus test in a year as per the UPSC standard one subscription to crack UPSC CSE is happening which is a limited period offer and you can join now. A package which is worth 2.3 lakh is available at 57,500 only. It is worth batches, mains test series, prelims test series, books, optional batches with test series etc. So mentorship days are on at an academy where you pay rupees 2000 and get optional worth rupees 27,500. You get yourself a expert mentor to guide you in your UPSC journey here in the mentorship days. This is ending today. Use my code and subscribe now. Comprehensive coverage till mains is happening at an academy. You need not have to worry when the exam will be happening because you get extended subscription or one year plan valid till mains 2022 two-year plan valid till mains 2023 use my code shilpai and 10 and go for the subscription csc assure program comes with two-year subscription onwards where you crack upac and you're not satisfied with your result then your next attempt is on us you get a free one-year extension and you can crack your psc csc with the rank you want the offer is ending today so please subscribe now use my code for any subscription Chase your UPSC dream by availing loan for UPSC preparation on an academy with zero processing fee, 0% interest rate, approval in two hours, no hidden charges, minimal paperwork and flexible tenures. So UPSC CAC Ultimate Surprise Map Kumalta hai 20 books which is created by best UPSC experts. It is worth rupees. 10,000 comes free with one year subscription onwards. 100% syllabus completion, highly structured for the ease of learning and it is created by the best UPSC experts. Previous year questions are included here and it is updated with current affairs. UPSC combat happens every Sunday at 11 a.m. There is a scholarship pool of rupees 4 crore and you have 60 minutes with 56 questions. There will be exciting offers every week. So please don't miss this. It happens every Sunday at 11 a.m. Use my invite code Shilpa N10 and go for it. New batches for UPSC CAC 21, 22, 23 aspirants starts on 18th of August. Prelims score booster MCQ batches for UPSC CAC. It is starting on from 18th of August that is today. And first time ever Tamil batches for UPSC CAC is starting today. One year batches for UPSC CAC, two year batches and you have Iconic Plus program with you have Iconic Plus program with personal guidance, study planner, study material, experts guidelines and test analysis with live classes, weekly tests and unlimited access and structured courses. You have two types of subscriptions. One is plus subscription, the other one is iconic subscription. 
So 60 days to go for prelims. You have two month subscription available only at rupees 15,000. And you can enroll now by using my code that is Shilpa N10 and go for it. <coughs> so this is me, Shilpa Nagaraju and about my classes here from Monday to Friday. Don't miss all the sessions. So this is Unlock UPSC by An Academy by me. Yeah, you will have Yojana plus Kurukshetra plus PIB for the last one year. So hello Ankit, hello. So let's crack it with an academy. Here goes the first question. Come on, all of you answer. This is about AstroSat. Come on, answer last few minutes, last few seconds. Okay, so this is with respect to AstroSat and they have asked for correct answer here. AstroSat is the first dedicated Indian astronomy mission aimed at studying celestial sources in X-ray, optical and UE spectral bands simultaneously. So correct answer is 1 and 2A. Both of you have gone wrong here. Uh, this is correct statement. The payloads cover the energy bands of ultraviolet, near and far, limited optical and x-ray regime. So this is also correct. One of the unique features of AstroSat mission is that it enables the simultaneous multi-wavelength observations of various astronomical objects with twin satellite. It's not twin satellite, it is single satellite. So single satellite may ye AstroSat mission ka pura ye uh, observations ho jata hai, ye observations hota hai multi-wavelength. And it is of various astronomical objects. Got it? So one of the unique features of AstroSat mission is that it enables the simultaneous multi-wave length observations of various astronomical objects with single satellite. So one and two are correct. Both Ankit and Prabhu have gone wrong. It's A. So correct where you're going wrong because you're in a correct path where you're correcting yourself. Being wrong is all fine. So AstroSats. Ultraviolet imaging telescope spots rare ultraviolet bright stars in a massive intriguing cosmic dinosaur in the Milky Way. So this news was because AstroSat has a UV imaging telescope a rare UV bright star notice and it is called a cosmic dinosaur in the Milky Way. That's why it was in news. So AstroSat is what it is a first dedicated indian astronomy mission it is aimed at studying celestial sources in x-ray optical and uv spectral bands simultaneously the payloads cover the energy bands of ultraviolet near and far limited optical and x-ray regime 
One of the unique features of AstroSat mission is that it enables the simultaneous multi-wavelength observations of various astronomical objects with a single satellite. So, single satellite may ye kar sakta hai. And please remember, it is the first dedicated Indian astronomy mission aimed at studying celestial sources in X-ray, optical and UV spectral bands. Ye teen aapko jankari honi chahiye ki ye it is studying with three bands one is x-ray optical the third one is uv spectral bands got it so this is about astrosat and it was a news because it was um, it had spotted a rare u ultraviolet bright star in a massive intriguing cosmic dinosaur in the milky way now what are the objectives of this astrosat they want to understand high energy processes in binary star systems containing neutron stars and black holes estimate magnetic fields of neutron stars study star birth regions and high energy processes in star systems lying beyond our galaxy they want to detect new briefly bright x-ray sources in the sky it wants to perform a limited deep field survey of the universe in the uv region so please remember these are the objectives of this astrosat and what are the key findings? One of the UV bright stars was found to be about 3000 3, times brighter than the sun with a surface temperature of about 1 lakh Kelvin. K is simply called Kelvin. In ko hum bolte hai. This is a standard where we uh, measure the brightness of a star. I think you all know that. So we use uh, kelvin as a standard to measure uh, brightness of stars like how we say kilogram or gram or centimeter the same way for measuring the brightness we use this kelvin the properties of these stars were then used to place them on what astronomers call the Hertzsprung result hr diagram along with the theoretical models to throw light on the characteristics of their parent stars and to predict their future evolution. Most of the stars were found to have evolved from a solar stage called the horizontal branch stars with hardly any outer envelope. So, what is it? They would have evolved from solar st stage and they will not have any envelope outside. Thus, they were bound to skip the last major phase of life called the asymptomatic giant phase and directly become dead remnants or white dwarfs. So, such UV bright stars are speculated to be the reason for the ultraviolet radiation coming from old stellar systems such as elliptical galaxies which are devoid of young blue stars. Hence, it is all the more important to observe more such stars to understand their properties that's why it is completely dedicated satellite from india for astronomical observations please remember about it and the bandwidth it uses all these things you should know got it so next one Good afternoon, Varshaba, Varshaba. Come on, answer all of you. Only Ankit has answered.
good so this is with respect to smart anti air field weapon that is saw and they have asked for correct answer it is indigenously developed and it is developed by isro it is not developed by isro but it is developed by d r d o to d r d o ne inko develop kiye hai aur design kiye hai ye isro ka nahi hai uh this is a 125 kg class smart weapon capable of engaging ground enemy air field assets such as radars bunkers taxi tracks and runways up to a range of 100 km so ye sahi hai the high precision guided bomb is lightweight compared to weapon system of the same class so 2 and 3 are correct b is the sahi uttar to kon diye hai sahi uttar ankit has given first and prabhu correct prabhu and ankit it is drdo varshaba it is wrong my dear because it is not uh it is not isro it is by drdo okay so this is a smart anti field weapon uh, anti air field weapon so and drdo has successfully uh, conducted captive and release trial of indigenously developed smart anti air field weapon simply called so from hok 1 of hindustan aeronautics limited of the odisha coast it is indigenously designed and developed by drdo's research center at hyderabad it is a 125 kg class smart weapon capable of engaging ground enemy air field assets such as radars bunkers taxi tracks and runways up to a range of 100 km the high precision guided bomb is lightweight compared to weapon system of the same class the smart weapon was successfully test fired from indian hawk of hal this was the ninth successful mission of saw which is conducted by drdo till now so please don't get confused it is smart anti air field weapon saw from hawk 1 of hindustan aeronautical limited and it is not by isro but it is by drdo's research center imarat at hyderabad so it is a 125 class smart weapon and it is successfully test fired that's why it was in news it's okay it's okay no problem varshaba we'll go to the next question Come on, answer. No one of no one of you, none of you have answered. Very good, very good. This is with respect to pulse polio immunization program, and they've asked for correct statement. It's very very clear because first statement or third statement ko agar ab dekhenge to ab ko bilkul correct uttar mil jayega. It's an immunization campaign to eliminate polio myelitis or polio in India by vaccinating all children under the age of five years. सब बच्चों को ये पोलियो दवाई देते हैं और कैंपेन करते हैं इंडिया में पूरे देश में ये कैंपेन चलते रहेगा क्योंकि we want our children to be you know very healthy and out from this polio disease. so with the global initiative of eradication of polio in 1988 following 
World Health Assembly Resolution in 1988. The program was launched in India in 1995. ये दोनों सही है Children in the age group of 0 to 5 years are administered this polio dro drops during national and subnational immunization rounds in high risk areas every year. तो ये wrong है क्योंकि they have given 0 to 10 years. It is 0 to 5 years. So 1 and 2 are correct statement. The President of India had launched Countrywide Pulse for Polio program for 2021. That's why it was in news. It's an immunization program. Abhi, ye Pulse Polio program kya hai? Why? Sorry, this is correct. You people are wrong. Uh, sorry, you, you both, Ankit and Prabhu, you both are right. So, President of India had launched this program. It's an immunization campaign. To eliminate polio myelitis or polio in India by vaccinating all children under the age of 5 years against the polio virus with a global initiative of eradication of polio in 1988 following World Health Assembly Resolution in 1988. The program was launched in India in 1995. The children in the age group of 0 to 5 years administered polio drops during national and subnational immunization rounds in high risk areas every year. The last polio case in the country was reported from Howrah district of West Bengal with date of onset 13th January of 2011. 2011 mein humne last polio case report kiye the and that was from Howrah district of West Bengal in 2011. Thereafter there was no polio cases which has been reported in the country and uh, till date like 25th May nahi hua tha. until now also there is not much so that's why India is free from polio karke bolte hai. so please remember this is for 0 to 5 years for all children Theak hai? you people are right Ankit and Prabhu next one so we have seen polio immunization program now we have answer answer polio ke mein answer ki Come on, answer all of you. Good. So this is with respect to polio. We saw polio immunization program. Now we should see about what is this polio all about. So let's see what is there as for correct statement here. And this is with respect to polio. The virus spreads from person to person and it can infect a person's spinal cord causing paralysis. And they cannot, they can't move the parts of the body. This is why it is very dangerous for us for our health because if it affects a person's spinal cord and it will cause paralysis we cannot move our parts of the body if we are attacked with this polio virus usually the virus diseases are very deadly and it is very easy to 
spread from person to person so we should be very careful that's why we are very very much careful regarding this corona virus too because polio is also by virus it spreads from person to person it will infect our spinal cord and it will cause paralysis if there is paralysis then we cannot move the parts of the body ye sahi hai the polio virus consists of an rna genome enclosed in a protein shell called a capsid so yes polio virus is not very contagious usually all virus diseases are contagious so this is wrong it is very contagious it will spread through person to person contact to ye galat hai 1 and 2 are correct a is the correct answer 1 and 2 is correct yeah so what is polio we have to know detail i know you all have been uh, reading a lot about uh, these diseases and polio you, you would have read also but let's revise this disease once because it might come for your exams too or you might have missed some of the other points here polio or polio myelitis is a disabling and life threatening disease which is caused by polio virus it spreads from person to person it can infect a person's spinal cord causing paralysis and once it by paralysis they can't move the parts parts of the body the polio virus consists of a rna genome and it is enclosed in a protein shell called a capsid there are three serotypes of wild polio virus type 1 type 2 type 3 each with a slightly different capsid protein in it is type 2 which is the first one to get eliminated it is followed by type 3 and then type 1 polio virus from the human environment polio virus is very contagious and it spreads through person to person contact humans are the only reservoir or carrier of polio virus and it is called wild polio so they are uh, very very contagious and they spread from one person to another person we that is humans are the only reservoirs or carriers of this polio virus and they are called wild polio a is the sahi uttar kon kon diye hai only prabhu has given a very very good prabhu so this is about polio let's go to this incident so this is with respect to chauri chaura incident I think there is a bit lag there. This is fifth. Come on, answer. Only Ankit has answered.
Okay, so this is with respect to Chauri Chaura incident. This is with respect to Chauri Chaura incident, and they have asked for correct statement. It took place on 4th of February 1922 in West Bengal. Ye West Bengal mein nahi hai, but it is in Gorakhpur of Uttar Pradesh. So it took place on 4th of February 1922 in Gorakhpur of UP and not in West Bengal. So ye wrong statement hai. Aap eliminate kar sakte hai A, B and D because it contains statement 1 which is wrong. A large group of protesters who are participating in the non-cooperation movement clashed with police who opened fire. So this happened. These protesters were uh, peaceful and they were uh, protesting, uh, participating in the non-cooperation movement launched by Gandhiji. But later, they clashed with the police who opened fire. Mahatma Gandhi, who was strictly against violence, he halted the non-cooperation movement on the national level on 12th of February 1922 as a direct result of this incident. So, ye sahi hai. 2 and 3 are correct. B is the sahi uttar. Kaun kaun diye hai? Koi nahi? Yeah, Ankit has given. Prabhu, you're wrong. It's not in West Bengal. It is in Uttar Pradesh. Okay. So, I think history mein thoda aapko problem hai. Thoda revision ki jiega. This took place on 4th of uh, February 1922. This was in, this incident was in news because the Prime Minister inaugurated the Chauri Chaura Centenary celebrations to commemorate 100 years of the Chauri Chaura incident, a landmark event in the country's fight for independence. This incident took place on 4th of February in 1922 at Chauri Chaura in the Gorakhpur district of the modern Uttar Pradesh. A large group of protesters participating in the non cooperation movement clashed with police who opened the fire. In retaliation, the demonstrators attacked, this, attacked and set fire to a police station, killing all of its occupants. This really disappointed Mahatma Gandhi, who was strictly against violence. He halted the non-cooperation movement, which was really on a full-fledged scale in the national level, on 12th of February uh, 1922 as a direct result of this incident. He was actually very disappointed with the people and said India is still not ready for launching this non-violence movement. So that's why he withdraw, withdrew this incident, this non-cooperation movement. Next. It's okay, you will come up. Okay, so this is with respect to lithium and they have asked for correct statement. Lithium is a key element for new technologies and finds its use in ceramics, glass, telecommunication and aerospace industries. See, nowadays new metals are getting into boom and they have most of the applications, be it ceramics or glasses or aerospace, anywhere, they are getting new, new applications. So this is correct. Due to the continuously increasing demand of lithium-ion batteries, the requirement of lithium has increased over the last few years. Yes, recently it was found in Kerala. No, it was found in Mandya district of Karnataka. So, ye galat hai. 1 and 2 are correct answer. A is the Sahi Uttar. Ankit and Prabhu are right. 
As per the preliminary surveys on the surface and limited subsurface surface by the Department of Atomic Energy, there is presence of lithium resources of 1,600 tons in the pegmatites of Marla Galla Ala Patna area of Mandya district in Karnataka. Lithium is a key element for the new technologies and it finds its use in ceramics, glass, telecommunication and aerospace industries. The well-known uses of lithium are in lithium-ion batteries, lubricating grease, eye energy additives to rocket propellants, optical modulators for mobile phones and as a converter to tritium used as a raw material for thermonuclear reactions that is fusion. Due to continuously increasing demand of lithium-ion batteries, the requirement of lithium has increased over the last few years. The survey was done on surface and limited subsurface in the pegmatites of Marla Galla Alla Patna area by Atomic Minerals Directorate for Exploration and Research AMD. It is a constituent unit of Department of Atomic Energy. The growing demand for lithium in India is driven by the goal of Indian government to become one of the largest electric vehicle markets world over. Niti Aayog has set an ambitious target to increase the number of electric vehicles by 30% by 2030. India's first lithium plant has been set up at Gujarat in 2021 where Money Current Power Limited will invest 1000 crore to set up this refinery. Good afternoon. So you all know it is from Karnataka. So this is about lithium. Answer. Come on, all of you give answer. Last few seconds. Okay, this is with respect to Nahi Roshni scheme and they have asked for correct answer. It is a scheme under Ministry of Tribal Affairs. This is not Tribal Affairs but it is Minority Affairs. So, ye statement wrong hai. So, you can eliminate option A, option C and option D and the correct answer is to entry only. The overall objective of the scheme is to embolden the minority women to move out of the confines of their homes and community and assume leadership roles in society. Yes, this is the main objective of this Nai Roshni scheme. This scheme may they want to embolden the minority women to move out of the confines of their home and community and assume leaderships roles in the society. The scheme provides for a six days training program followed by hand holding for a period of one year. So, ye bhi sahi hai. Inko six days training program dete hai and they will hand hold them for a period of one year. Two and three are sahi uttar. The Union Minister for Minority Affairs recently provided the information regarding the number of women that have got benefited from this Nai Roshni scheme. So B is the Sahi Uttar, Dono, Ankit and Prabhu have answered right. So this is by Union Ministry of Minority Affairs. 
and they recently provided the information regarding the number of women who have benefited from the scheme. Nai Roshni is a scheme under Ministry of Minority Affairs for Leadership and Development of Minority Women and it is being implemented across India with the aim to empower and instill confidence in women by providing knowledge, tools and techniques for interacting with government systems, banks and other institutions at all levels. The overall objective of the scheme is to embolden the minority women to move out of the confines of their homes and community and assume leadership roles in the society. The scheme provides for a six days training program followed by hand holding for a period of one year. This is about Nair Roshni scheme by Ministry of Minority Affairs for leadership development program and for mainly Jammu and Kashmir. Next. Come on, answer. Come on, answer all of you. Or Bani will answer. Okay, this is with respect to Shadud Dam and they've asked for correct statement. The project is a part of new development partnership between India and Afghanistan, yes. This is the first major dam being built by India and Afghanistan, Nahi. As part of our development cooperation with Afghanistan, India has completed more than 400 projects covering all 34 provinces of Afghanistan. The things which is happening in Afghanistan right now is very disgusting and very uh, you know, disturbing. I hope you all have seen, right? you all have seen like what's happening in Afghanistan, very disturbing. So this is with respect to Shatut Dam. And this is a part of new development partnership between India and Afghanistan. Uh, th this is not the first major dam built by India in Afghanistan. There is Indo-Afghan Friendship Dam in Herat. So, this is not the first dam. This is the second dam. Uh, Shatut is the second dam. As a part of our development cooperation with Afghanistan, India has completed more than 400 projects covering all 34 provinces of Afghanistan. So, Sahi Uttar hai, 1 and 3 only. C is the Sahi Uttar. So, none of, none of you have answered right. A signing ceremony of the Memorandum of Understanding for the construction of Lalandar or Shah Tut Dam in Afghanistan took place. That's why it was in news. The project is a part of new development partnership between India and Afghanistan. The Lalanda Shatu Dam would meet the demands of safe drinking water needs of Kabul city, provide the irrigation water to nearby areas, rehabilitate the existing irrigation and drainage network, aid in flood protection and management efforts in the area and provides electricity to the region. This is the second major dam being built by India in Afghanistan after the India-Afghanistan Friendship Dam that is also called Salma Dam. The Salma Dam which is also called India-Afghanistan Friendship Dam was the first one being built by India in Afghanistan. The Shatu Dam is... See, first dam was Salma Dam. Second dam is Shatu Dam. Don't get confused. Pele dam hai Salma dam. Second dam hai Shatut dam. Confusion hai idhar kuch? Ye Kabul city, ye Kabul river ka ek uh, um, tributary hai. The Shatut dam. Any doubts here? So Pela dam hai Salma dam. 
second dam is Shatu Dam or Lalandar Dam. Uh, ye Shatu Dam is on a tributary of River Kabul. It is uh, in the city of Kabul. It provides irrigation water to the nearby areas, rehabilitate the existing irrigation and drainage network, aid in flood protection and management efforts in the area, and also provide electricity to the region. Tihana? Any doubts? Okay. Okay, so let's see. This is Mega Investment Textiles Park or Mitra Scheme, simply called Mitra Scheme. This is also called Mega Investments Textiles Parks Mitra Scheme. They've asked for correct statement here. It, will, it aims to enable the textile industry to become globally competitive, attract large investments, boost employment generation and exports. This is right because that's why they have uh, brought in this mega investments textiles park or Mitra scheme to make them globally competitive, attract large investments, boost employment generation and exports here. The target is to establish 70 textile parks over the next three years. Do you think it is correct? 70 nahi hai, it's too huge in number, it, it is only 7 eliminate 1 0. It will function under the Ministry of Textiles, yes, logic apply karenge, to bhi ye tech Ministry of Textiles ke andar hi uh, kaam karega, but if you apply even general common sense, it is very huge target of 70 textile parks over the next 3 years, so it is wrong hai, to 1 and 3 are the correct statements. C is the Sahi Uttar. The government has announced the launch of Mega Investment Textiles Parks or Mitra scheme to make Indian textile industry globally competitive. They want to attract large investments, boost employment generation and exports. Mega Investments Textiles Park that is Mitra, it aims to enable the textile industry to become globally competitive, attract large investments, boost employment generation and exports. It will help to create world-class infrastructure with plug-and-play facilities to enable the creation of global champions and exports. This Mitra scheme will be launched in addition to the production-linked incentive scheme for the textile sector. The target is to establish seven textile parks over the next three years. It will function under the Ministry of Textiles. So this is all correct. The, it will be seven textiles which will be over the next three years and it is functioning under the Ministry of Textiles. So C answer kiye hai both Dono, Ankit and Prabhu. Very, very good. You have understood this and you have applied the logic. Very good. We'll go to the last question of the day. Come on, answer.
Come on, answer. Last question. So consider the following statements with respect to one district, one product. And they have asked for correct statement. It is an initiative under the Ministry of External Affairs. No. It is seen as a transformational step forward towards realizing the true potential of a district, fuel economic growth and generate employment and rural entrepreneurship. It will convert each district of the country into an export hub by identifying products with export potential in the district. So it is 2 and 3 which is correct. So, B is the correct answer. The Department of Commerce through DGFT or Directorate General of Foreign Trade is engaging with the state and central government agencies to promote the initiative of One District, One Product. One District, One Product is an initiative under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It is seen as a transformational step towards forward towards realizing the true potential of a district fuel economic growth and generate employment and rural entrepreneurship yes up ka scheme hai up mein itne sari district hai to ek ek district mein ek ek product hoga the objective is to convert each district of the country into an export hub by identifying products with export potential in the district, addressing the bottlenecks for exporting these products. So this is by the Directorate General of Foreign Trade uh, under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So ye hai one district, one product scheme and it is not by Ministry of External Affairs. We saw today mega investments, textile parks or simply called the Mitra scheme which targets to establish 7 textile parks over the next 3 years. Achha ji, paan and sari, theek hai. Uh, 7 textile parks for the next 3 years, it will function under the Ministry of Textiles. And we saw the Shatu Dam which is the second dam, first uh, was the Salma Dam. Uh, and the second is Shatut or Lalandar Dam in Afghanistan. It is on the tributary of River Kabul in the city of Kabul. It will provide irrigation water to nearby areas, rehabilitate the existing irrigation and drainage network, aid in flood protection and management efforts in the area and also provide electricity in the region. Uh, this is Shatut Dam. Don't get confused. Banaras. Okay. So, Nahi Roshni scheme, it is by Ministry of Minority Affairs. The objective of the scheme is to embolden the minority women to move out of the confines of their homes and community and assume leadership roles in the society. It will help to provide six days training program followed by hand holding for a period of one year. So, this is correct. We saw this lithium where it is applied and it is recently found in Karnataka. It is recently found in Karnataka and that's why it was in news. It is a key element for new technologies and uh, it has many many applications. We saw Chauri Chaura incident which took place on 4th February 1922 in Gorakhpur district of Uttar Pradesh and not in West Bengal. It was a moment launched uh, for the 100 year celebrations of this incident. Uh, here you, you know there was a large group of protesters who participated in the non-cooperation movement. They clashed with police who opened fire. This really disturbed Mahatma Gandhi and he was strictly against violence. He halted the non-cooperation movement on national level on 12th of February 1922 as a direct result of this incident. So this was that. Regarding polio, it's a very contagious disease and it spreads through person to person contact. Next, we saw about uh, the pol Pulse Polio Immunization Program. It was inaugurated by the President. It is to vaccinate all children under the age of 5 years. This is smart anti air fill weapon that is saw, uh, designed and developed by DRDO. This is all we know. And then we saw about this uh, AstroSat, what it is and uh, the applications and why it was in news. All this we saw. Yes, this is the sound of the gun because this is a child. 
बच्चा को छोड़ के नहीं बच्चा है ना तो इसलिए तो थैंक यू सो मच विल कैच फॉर द रैपिड फायर सेशन इन अकेडमी एट फोर फाइव एंड देन सिक्स टू एट वी हैव आर प्रम प्रम स्मॉक सेशन प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर शेयर द वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज प्रेस द बेल बटन फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन एंड सब्सक्रिप्शन थैंक यू लेट्स कैच